Let's put all three of our variables into action now. We have rank, duty, and cause of death. So let's pose the question, how did the different ranks and duties die? So we have all the raw numbers up here, but again, it, we can't just look at that and see the pattern. We're going to need to do some work and so that our audience can easily see that pattern. So you have a decision to make as the author. You need to ask yourself, do you want to ask, of all the soldiers in each group, what percent died by which cause? So of all the privates in the infantry, what percent died from injury or illness? Or do you want to say, of the soldiers who died in each group, what percent died by which cause? Which cause? Either approach is true, either approach is, is valid, but they will convey quite different messages. Let's, let's take a look at them. So let's start with, of the soldiers who died in each of those groups by rank and duty, what percent died by which cause? So we've now got two predictor variables and an outcome variable. So we need to make another contingency table, but this time it's not that relatively simple two by two contingency table because we're adding a whole other variable. So let's kind of mimic what they've done here where they've put one predictor variable in one column and another predictor variable in another column. So I'm just going to come down here um, and type, well, type the table label first. This is going to be the percentage of deaths by rank and duty and cause. Right, the percentage of death by rank and duty and cause. I'm going to have a column labeled rank, a column labeled duty. And then across the, um, the next three, I'm going to have the, the, the cause of death. So illness, injury, and other cause. So let me fill in my, my variable labels here. So this was privates in the infantry, privates, non-infantry, higher rank in the infantry, and higher rank in the non-infantry. Now, do you remember what our question was? It's percent of deaths. So it's of the privates in the infantry di who died, how many died from illness? So privates in the infantry who died from illness divided by all of those who died. Privates in the infantry who died from injury divided by those in the infantry, privates in the infantry who died from any cause. Did I get them right? Did you get the same numbers? Can we use fill? What do you think? Does fill work? Let me go ahead and select them all and see. I'm going to fill down. So this should be privates in the non-infantry who died from illness. Yes, it is. I think Phil worked very nicely, don't you? I'm going to highlight them all. I'm going to format them as a percent and add my decimal places. So we look like we're at a point where we could visualize this data. We've got the percent of deaths by rank and duty and cause. So for each rank and duty, We've got the percent that died by illness, the percent that died by injury, the percent that died by other cause. So those three numbers are a part to whole relationship. 
those three numbers add up to 100%. Um, so we should be looking for a part to whole option. We could use a pie chart, but then we'd end up with four different pie charts. And those are very hard to compare across different pie charts. I think our best option would be to do a 100% stacked column. So let's highlight all of the data and the labels. And under our insert ribbon, come over and choose the 100% stacked columns. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to move the legend. All right. So we've now got in this group of the deaths, what percentage were in each um, cause of death. Let's write a, a chart title for that. So this is cause of death by rank and duty. We need to have a title axis or an axis title. The other piece of information that we really need to include here in order for our audience to be able to interpret this chart is the sample size. Because we've turned it into percentages, we've lost the information about how big each of these groups are. So we need to add underneath each group sample size. I'm going to do that by Let's see, we really wanted it written just under the word private. So I'm going to come over here to where the word private is written and say open paren lowercase n because it's a subgroup, it's not the whole sample. So the privates in the infantry died. That was out of the 353 deaths. And do you see how it's added it there, right there into the chart? Let me add those for the other groups, privates not in the infantry, that was out of 67 deaths. So that then allows us to see the, the sample size for each of these groups. Otherwise, it would be very tempting for us to look at this number and say, wow, you know, the non-infantry higher rank, you were way more likely to die from injury than from illness. But now that we've got the, that the, this was only a sample of six, we can see that, yes, indeed, that's, you know, two thirds of them died by injury, but that that was only referring to four individuals. Even if just one of those had died from illness and not injury, it would be 50-50. So that would that would look a lot different. Whereas, you know, within the infantry, we've got 80% of 353 deaths are through illness. And we could tell there that, you know, one more death in that category and a different category wouldn't change the, the proportions very much, the percentages very much. When you're happy with how your stacked column chart looks, go ahead and copy it and paste it into your write-up and add a couple of sentences that interprets that data. Now let's go back and ask the question, of all the soldiers in each group, what percentage died by which cause? So again, we've got these, these three variables. We've got the rank, their duty, and their cause of death. And then we've got a count of how many people ended up in each of those categories. 
So we've really got three predictor variables here. We want to start by creating another contingency table. I'm just going to come down under this and say, give this a, a label. So we're, we're asking of the total sample, what percentage died by each cause in each rank and duty. So percent of deaths of total sample by rank and duty and cause. I wonder if I can copy my copy and paste my uh, labels there. Um, my ends are no longer going to be accurate. Let me hold off on that. Let me let me delete them so that I know that I'm not I I, I don't get confused by them. But we're going to have to come back and add, edit those. And then we want the titles for the labels for illness and injury and other cause. So here we want of the whole sample of of the whole group of privates in the inventory what what percentage died of illness. So we're going to type an Ill, equal sign illness divided by the total group. We're not going to be able to fill across because we did illness from the, the group. We're going to want to do injury from the group, not injury from those that died. So let's go ahead and type in the formulas for, for privates in the infantry died from illness over the whole group of privates in the infantry. And similarly, other cause divided by the total group. We should, however, be able to fill down. So I've highlighted all three of those. And let's fill those down. Let's verify. We need to format our cells so that they're percentages with two decimal places. So are we going to make the same choice? Are we going to, when we want to visualize this, are we going to make another 100% stacked column? Are these parts of a whole? Do these add up to a whole? No, they don't add up to anywhere near a whole. If we wanted to include survived, then that would add up to a whole, and we would be able to do a stacked column. But for now, let's let's look at how this looks in a um, a clustered column chart. So I'm going to highlight the whole data table. I'm going to come under my insert ribbon and just use a I choose a clustered column. So we've got our four groups, infantry, privates, privates not in the infantry, higher rank in the infantry, higher rank not in the infantry. We've got our legend. Excel is really liking to put it down at the bottom these days. And then we've got our third variable here, whether they died from illness, whether they died from injury, whether they died from other causes. So we've really got three predictor variables in this set. And then our outcome is mortality rate. By rank, duty, and cause of death. We need to add in our sample sizes. So this is percent of the total sample by rank and duty and cause. So we do need of the total sample. So the total number of privates in the infantry is 2720. And I'm clicking into the formula bar in order to edit that. Private not infantry is 1191. This is a group size of 283. And this is a group size of 101. So we are saying that um, for the higher rank, rank soldiers who were not assigned to infantry duty, 
about 2% of that sample of 100 died from illness, about 4% of that sample of 100 died from injury. Go ahead and format your other, the other choose your other formatting options. Ensure that you've got a zero baseline. You should always have a zero baseline, both with a clustered column or a column chart or a bar chart, and with a percent or and with a 100% uh, stacked column. And go ahead and write it up. Copy your your chart, paste it into your Word document, and add a few sentences that interpret the information that you've got here. At this point. I think we have summarized and organized and visualized this data set. Go ahead and read over your sample write-up. You will want to rearrange it. You'll want to make sure that it flows in a logical order, that it's making a coherent, scent, a coherent story. You can compare it to the sample write-up that's included with the tutorial.